It's one of the city's most famous music venues and this weekend it's playing host to one of the city's most famous bands. Travis finish off their 2013 comeback year with a two-night homecoming performance here at Glasgow's Barrowlands. We caught up with Andy Dunlop and Fran Healy from the band for a chat about the success of 2013 and an exclusive track from their new album. It's a, the best venue in the world. That is what every band says and I think it's, I think it's sounds great. And you never get this size of room without there being pillars in the way, so it's a big open room. It's really, really cool. Great to be back. We'll talk a bit more about the Barras in a second, <laughs> but 2013 has been a pretty brilliant year for Travis. I mean, you came in pretty high up the charts, top ten with uh, Where You Stand, the comeback yeah. album. What, what's been the, the highlight of the year for you? Or I, can't, I would imagine it's perhaps too difficult to pin it down to one. I think, I mean, I know we're in Scotland, but Tea in the Park was brilliant, because I think that was... The first point because we'd done you know bits all round you know like to China and things like that but that was the first time we felt like properly coming back to Britain with the record and it just felt you know, we were coming around in a van and the, the tents the other side from where the dress rooms are so I hadn't been across to the tent and you're just sitting there thinking is anyone going to be there you know because it's, it's been a long while since we've been here. I spoke to Fran earlier in the year actually Andy and uh, he was talking about the um, I'm putting you in the spot now Fran um, <laughs> the the tea in the park gig and he said you left the stage with tears in your eyes. I, I get, I, I, there's been a few times recently, I'm, I must be getting old, I start tearing up about things. Yeah, I, I, I was quite emotional about it. I was when, when we first came on in the, sort of like the, the surge. I think I, it's just mentally unstable. I think I'm hitting the menopause. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was a surge of emotion, yeah, it was, it was kind of nice. I had to man up a little bit there. <laughs> Would you agree with Andy, Fran, that uh, Tea in the Park was the highlight of, of 2013? Uh, I would say, yeah, definitely. I would say that Tea in the Park and the V Festivals, the first of the V Festival ones that we did, we turned up and uh, we were playing Madrid the day before and uh, we turned up but our gear didn't turn up. We, we get, <laughs> our equipment disappeared. So we had to borrow all uh, other bands' equipment at the V Festival to do this gig. And it, it was really, it was good fun. Yeah. It sounded weird, but it was good. <laughs> uh Tell me about your, your experiences of playing the Barrowlands from, I mean, back in the start, the, the late 90s to, to, the, to the more recent gigs. What are the standouts for you? Um, I think the first time we properly played it. I mean, we, we did a couple of things, as I was saying, the bucket full of bands, wasn't it? And it was like, yeah, some, it was like a couple a of, you know, like, of, it was rubbish. shite things in the afternoon, you know, <laughs> you're playing to ten people and... And you're like that. You, you before you're it, you're like, like we're getting to play the Barlands, we're getting to play, and it's like such a come down. You're like, oh shit, it's, it's yeah. the Barlands, but it's empty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but um, what was the first thing we did here? Did we support anyone here? Did we support? I don't know who did. I think the first proper show we did was our own one. Yeah. And it's just that thing, you know, because when was it? That would have been. Was it ninety seven? No, it would have been later than. We don't think we did it in the first record. Oh, did we we did it with Catatoni on the first record. Remember, we did Ka the Steve Lamac tour. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. With the ultrasound. No, no it was Catatoni and uh, Idleworld. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah. And that was that, that was pretty good. But the first, I think, the first time we properly played it would have been about ninety nine, maybe. Ninety nine. Mm -hmm. And that's I think that when you first came in your own, that's that was the one. I remember seeing like Big Country here, and it was just the ideal place oh to see God, them. You know, cause it was just like. So good. Whole I remember at one point because you were in it for most of it and you stood at the back and just the whole room was just like moving oh, and yeah. it was just it was immense it was just like so good I saw um, I see Rage Against the Machine and I don't know whether it was a set up but some the front man kicked a bouncer in the head because oh. he because the bouncer had like roughed up some kid who'd come over the top and they stopped it the gig and um, it was really they had the tour yeah. manager on as I've gotten older I've thought man maybe that was a set up yeah. you know maybe it was like um, um, the wrestling or something <laughs> they do it every night yeah, <laughs> maybe plastic they did. chairs or that. <laughs> yeah because I, I, I heard that maybe they'd done something similar something similar oh, right, happened, yeah. which made me think oh, wow well, I got chucked out once what for uh, we, we came to see it was the primitives, remember the primitives, yeah, the yeah. trash, and the, the, it was the, the thieves that were on before them. You remember that band? Mm -hmm. They were on that famous for fifteen minutes. And then they were on, and my mate was like in the rugby team, big guy, and we'd drunk a bottle of Eldorado, 
sherry before we come in. What else? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We just we'd gone into the office and just a bottle of that, please. <laughs> you know, the first thing you can see. So your school uniform. <laughs> <laughs> so we drunk that, and we were there. We brought two girls with us, and um, but he decided it would be really funny to run from one side through the crowd and try and get to the other side. So we got about three laps in of doing this, and then just like the bouncers just totally turfed us out. But we went to like what's the pub? Is it Beards? Beards. Beards to the right of it. We were just sitting there like. This guy comes up and he's like, "Your lads, you've been chucked to it." You know that? Aye, aye. He's like, "Give us twenty quid, I'll get you back in." So we gave him twenty quid, you know, ten on each. Uh-huh. And he, you the metal gate at the side. He let us in the gate and went, "Just run up that corridor and you're back in." <laughs> and obviously, just radio the other security guys because they're metal So we're running up the corridor and this big guy starts running towards us down the corridor <laughs> and pins us in the. By which point the gate shuts, so we're oh. in the middle of the barras, which is empty, and this guy pins us up, <laughs> and he's like, oh, you know, and started totally... Sort of the one that threw you originally? No, it was, was oh, I don't know, I, I don't know, I can't remember. Fran, how's the voice? It's a wee bit better. <clears throat> I got a cold this week, which was a real pain, but um, I think that I had a bacterial thing, and, and for the first time in 17 years, I couldn't sing. It, nothing was coming out, and it happened in um, Berlin, the Berlin show of all places, with all everybody, all your. The, it's almost a second homecoming for you, yeah, isn't it? Well, it's like all your people from the school and all like our friends and everybody there, and it's sound check. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't actually speak, but I managed to do it. It was quite, it was quite special because you sort of. Uh, Went a bit Dylan in some of the songs. It sounded like Bonnie Tyler. We, no. were, we were calling it Tiny Boiler. <laughs> <laughs> I sung Total Eclipse of the Heart. It sounded dead. It sounded yeah. Like yeah. I'd have paid to see that. Um, <laughs> 2014 is, uh, is just around the corner. What's, uh, what does 2014 have in store for Travis? Nora was my wife was asking us to do a bit of songwriting. And um, I was saying how it's like, uh, it's like fishing. You just go out in a boat. And you go fishing and you try and catch you never know if you're gonna catch it anything. But if you will it <laughs> so I'm willing it just yeah. now. So between January yeah. and May, I'm gonna try and write the best song that's ever been written. I think the thing is you've got to be in the boat in the first place. You can't, you can't just sit you're in the actually going in a boat. Yeah. <laughs> he takes it literally. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be out in lock, lock whatever. Like sitting buck fine. Yeah. That's, that's my favourite place to write. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, I look forward to to hearing all that. Fran and Andy, thanks very much for joining us and have a great gig. Thank you.